What did you think of the, the brisket and the ribs? Flavorless. Oh! Ouch. Oh. Oh. That was that's the most cold-blooded comment I think I've ever gotten. Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today we are in Kansas City because this is the last stop on the 1,000-gallon smoker tour, and I thought, what better way to end it than to cook for a bunch of people? So we filled this thing with 28 briskets last night and put another 13 on a 500-gallon, and we're cooking for a lot of people. We threw down the gauntlet in Kansas City and said, Texas barbecue is king, changed my mind. Now this smoker, if you want to win it, you can click on the link in the description, you buy a collectible coffee mug, and you get automatically entered to win. So this is gonna go to one of you guys who's watching my videos, and I hope you guys put it to as much use as I put it through in the last couple weeks. So today we're serving brisket, we're serving ribs, and we're serving sausages. So Texas Hot Links, we got uh, some people who are already here. We're gonna be serving food for the next four hours, and I'm gonna sit down at a table and have them convince me of why Kansas City barbecue is superior to Texas style barbecue. So we're going to shake hands, give out a bunch of free food, and we got over 500 people signed up to come to this. So stick around and we'll see, maybe there are gonna be some fireworks, maybe it's just gonna be shaking hands and having a good time. But regardless, fun will be had by all. So I wanna go over the process that we used to cook all the food because I know you guys are gonna to wanna to know. For the briskets, we did pretty simple. We did salt and pepper and then a light dusting of Lowry's on the fat side. Then we took it to probably around 190 degrees. I don't know, I wasn't checking the temperature, but when the fat rendered well, then we wrapped it up in a double layer of butcher paper. And of course we used some Wagyu tallow. You can render your own trimmings if you want to, but I just think the texture of this is really good. I suggest you smoke it first. You get even more smoky flavor in the food that you cook. And then for the ribs, we did salt and pepper on the outside. And then when it came time to glaze, we used a bourbon glaze. So it was apple cider vinegar, then sugar, and then finally bourbon. And we put that over the top so there's some sweetness, but it's not overpowering. You mostly taste the meat and the salt and pepper, and then there's sweetness to kind of finish it up and round it off. And that's the basic process. So nothing super crazy, all pretty simple, and all something you can easily do at home. And to keep it as legit as possible, we had to get the right kind of meat. And so we decided to go with Creekstone Farms for the brisket and the pork ribs. So Franklin uses Creekstone briskets, Goldie's, they use Creekstone briskets. So pretty much anybody who can get them, they use Creekstone. So we thought, let's get our hands on some Creekstone briskets and cook some high quality stuff for these people because we don't want to show up and say, we're going to cook Texas style barbecue and not make the very best stuff we can. And the folks at Creekstone were really nice and they contributed a few cases of briskets and some cases of ribs. And we were really excited about that because that's what we wanted to use anyway. And so it was awesome. Now, before we get everything kicked off, there's one person we have to thank. It's Michael Gunn. He actually came up with the idea for this video. We had a Patreon contest and he won a Fat Stack 80. Um, and his idea was showing up in Kansas City and having a sign that says, Texas barbecue is king, changed my mind. And so he actually built smokers now. So I guess the 80 launched him on this, uh, this craze of wanting to build his own pits. So how can people find you online and what kind of pits are you building? Instagram's probably the best place uh, under Gunsmoke Barbecue and I will be building backyard pits, 140-ish uh, gallon range. He actually built one of the 500s that we're using to kind of supplement this. So I said, I'm coming to Kansas City with a thousand gallon pit, we're gonna fill it up. And he's like, that'll be right around the time I finish this 500. So we are able to use them both. Maybe you can share one thing that you've learned in pit building. Probably start small and not with a trailer. All right, thank you so much, Michael. Let's Sounds go see good. what the people think. Sounds good.
I want to thank Policy Genius for sponsoring today's video. It really helps out to be able to put on events like this, traveling around the country, having a small child, and thinking about being more of an adult. I've come to the place in my life where I have to start thinking about life insurance, and Policy Genius has really helped simplify the process of finding the right one for me. As I've gotten older, a lot of things have changed in my life, but one thing that I definitely don't want to change is the feeling that I'm gonna be there for my family. My wife and my daughter are the two most important people in my whole world, and I wanna make sure that no matter what happens, they're always taken care of. Policy Genius has modernized the process. They give you the option to compare different policies to find the one that is right for you. At Policy Genius, their licensed agents work for you and not the insurance companies, so they're gonna make sure that you have all the tools at your disposal to make the right decision. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $25 a month for $1 million in coverage. Some policies offer coverage in as little as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. There are no added fees. Your personal information isn't sold out to anybody. So you can take comfort in the fact that you're not giving out your personal details to the internet as a whole. So you can start saving money today and give your loved ones peace of mind knowing that they'll be taken care of no matter what. Just head over to policygenius.com slash madscientistbbq or click on the link in the description and find the right life insurance policy for you today. Jeremy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Will. Emil. Emil. Jeremy. Okay. I'm Curtis. I'm Jeremy, nice to meet you. Hi, Emery. So your name is Stanley? Stanley Robinson? Stanley Robinson, that's Stanley correct. Robinson. Yes, sir. So what's your opinion on uh, Texas Barbecue is King? Can you change my mind or what do you think? I don't know if I can change your mind. It's tough to, to choose between the two, but maybe I'm a, a Texas guy. I don't know if I can change your mind. I'm gonna have to agree with you, really. Okay. To me, I think Texas Barbecue is just better, superior. Kansas City Barbecue is great. Born and raised in Kansas City, obviously I love it. Are you gonna be able to um, show your face? Uh, yeah, you might have to blur out my face, but. Okay, blur <laughs> out his face. No, no, it's, it's just better. It showcases the meat, the taste of the meat better. You get the taste of the smoke better. I am a sucker for a good sauce, but not on my brisket. Um, what did you think of the food today? Oh, it was amazing. It was great. The brisket was perfect. Some of the best brisket I've had. I've gotten myself close, but still, I haven't been able to match that yet. Ribs were great, and then the sausage, man, was out of the world. Okay, right? I will tell tell Ben that uh, that you like the sausage. Oh he, yeah, uh, it was very good. It was it was the most sausage he's ever made. It was 284 links of sausage, I think. Wow. <laughs> and he has a five pound stuffer, so that's okay. that's a lot of stuff. A lot of sausage stuff. Yeah. In there. I wish I could say I'm sad we agree, but yeah, um, yeah I, think I think you're think gonna you're have right. a hard time finding people who uh, disagree with you. I haven't found anybody yet who's gonna tell me that Kansas yeah. City barbecue is better. Sometimes I find Texas barbecue a little bit plain. Sure. Um, it's all personal preference. Of course. Right? I kind of grew up with the Kansas City style. I just like that kind of like sweet eat barbecue uh, flavor on top of whatever meats I'm doing. Yeah. Texas barbecue is about the smoke and about the meat and about the process and for me, that's why it's my favorite. Do you think Texas barbecue is not the best? Not the best. Okay, yeah, what's the best? That. I'm living in Kansas City, sure. so I think I have to say Kansas City is the best. Okay, what makes it the best? So I would say the variety. It's a crowd pleaser. You oh. got all these different options. You like the heat? You can have some some heat on your with the sauce that you had. You like the sweet? You can have that. If sure. you want a little bit more, just pure smoky, you can have your classic Jack Stack or maybe an LC's or Slaps. They've got more classic barbecue that isn't as flavorful, but you can have the sauce if you want it. It's right there to go for it. Okay, that's actually that's a good argument. One thing I've run into though is pretty much everywhere things come pre-sauced. Right. Mm -hmm. I would say the Texas barbecue is so good you don't need sauce. What okay. Would you say to that. Yep. I would say, yeah, that, that's definitely an option. And that's one really cool thing about Kansas City Barbecue. There's so much variety. Gotcha. And what did you think of the, uh, of the food today? Well, I like barbecue, so that was delicious. Okay. Uh, I would definitely say that the brisket was on point. And speaking of point, I would say with Kansas City, they do some of the best burn-ins around. They are famous for burn-ins. Yeah, I'm a little bit more partial to a lot of different flavors when it comes to ribs. Sure. But if you want that pure meat flavor and you're yep. a guy that focuses on that more of a carnivore, they were great. But with me, I like to layer my flavors when it comes sure. to ribs, especially with a shorter cook. I think KC Barbecue has way more flavor than Texas Barbecue. I think KC has the perfect amount of spice and flavor in it. I think it was the pork, it was very spicy. Oh, the, the sausages? Yeah. They, yeah, those are Texas hot links. So they are spicy for sure. But um, what did you think of the, the brisket and the ribs? Flavorless. Ouch. Oh, oh. Well, I'm a homeboy, Kansas City. And of course, you know, my background, I've cooked all over this country. Yep. Kansas City's the melting pot of okay. barbecue. This is unbelievably good food. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. 
king. I still think Kansas City's king there because of it being the melting pot of barbecue. Sure. The barbecue sauces that I've tasted in Texas mm -hmm. are, I believe, were early versions of Kansas City type stuff. No. I will grant you that the sauces in Kansas City are better. When you go to the grocery store and there's a shelf of a hundred of them there, yeah. more more barbecue sauce on the, bar the shelf in Kansas City per capita than anywhere else in the world. <laughs> it's crazy. What's your opinion of Texas style barbecue? It's okay, it's not my favorite. And I guess because it's just not very complicated. Because it, it doesn't have the complicated blends of seasonings and all. They, they keep it very simple. Judging by your shirt, KCBS barbecue judge, master judge. Master, yep. That you're going to disagree with me. I'm not going to completely disagree with you, but the thing is most people think Kansas City is all about the sauce. Okay. Only if you cook it wrong. Yeah, if you cook it like wrong, this. it needs a lot of sauce. Okay. Really, all a good brisket needs is salt, garlic powder, and lemon pepper. Lemon pepper, is that, a, is that a pro tip from a master judge? Uh, it's a pro tip from a guy that's won 13th of the American Royal. Okay, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> the rubs, good, simple, let the meat speak, and cook it properly. Gotcha. Did you have the food here today? Yeah, I had a piece of brisket and some mac and cheese. And okay, what did you think? You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Need some flavor, bud. Okay. <laughs> All right. Texas style barbecue is clearly the best, Brad. You shut your mouth, you <laughs> You come here to my city and you're talking about brisket? If you're not making burn ends, you're wrong! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a little bit of everything. Some people really love Texas style barbecue. Some people really love Kansas City style barbecue. And then everything in between. I want to give a big shout out to all the people who helped out. So not the least of which is my wife, Erica. And then people who are subscribed on, on Patreon uh, from the Discord over there. And then I want to thank Brad and Joe for staying up all night to uh, cook ribs. And from Ant's Barbecue Cookout, you shut up, Lord Saunders. And so and then we have Taylor who came down to help out today. And so I want to thank everybody who helped put this thing on because it was a lot of work and I definitely couldn't have done it by myself. So thanks to all of them. And uh, I almost forgot Ben, Ben McKittrick. He made all the sausages, yes. which is the thing that I go back to, to eat again and again. But thank you guys. Hit the like button down below if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'll see you guys next time. Texas style barbecue is clearly the best brand. You shut your mouth, you <laughs> You come here to my city and you're talking about brisket? If you're not making burn ends, you're wrong! <laughs> you're putting glaze on your ribs? What the hell? Who do you think you are, you Kentucky bastard? <laughs> Jeez, you call yourself a scientist? I don't even know. What are you even doing here? You take your old dirty probe that is full of poison and I, I'm out of here. <laughs>